This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up. Good morning on a Friday. I'm Nick Saletti here with your top stories from ABC 15 Arizona. The CDC is out with some new information showing just how fast the Delta variant spreads. CDC's director says the Delta variant is one of the most transmissible viruses we know about, comparing it to chickenpox and the measles. Each infected person can go on to infect up to eight or nine other people. I think this is one of the reasons why vaccination rates in the United States are rising. I think people are starting to get it. That Delta, you don't screw around with this virus. This variant can kill you. So uh, if you're not vaccinated, it's not too late. Uh, you can do it tomorrow. Fully vaccinated people can spread the Delta variant at the same rate as unvaccinated people. However, vaccines permit more than 90% of severe disease. As cases rise in some cities across the country implement new restrictions and guidelines, don't expect that to happen here in Arizona. Governor Doug Ducey says he has no intentions of implementing restrictions. This comes as Phoenix, Tucson, Flagstaff and other cities announced mandatory mask wearing. The governor pushing vaccines though. Vaccine saves lives. It's effective and it's free. And you don't have to hear that from a public health official in Washington, D.C. or electeds in Arizona. Talk to your local doctor, your physician, whoever you would talk to if someone that you loved or someone in your family were to get sick. And listen to them. Please, we're encouraging that. The governor caught on the FDA to give final approval to the vaccines. Next week, dozens of districts head back to the classroom, but things aren't looking promising with COVID-19, according to the Maricopa County School Dashboard. Nearly every school district in the Valley is experiencing substantial or high spread. The Department of Health Services recommending that those schools should be offering a hybrid model or even fully online in some cases, unless they can implement mitigation strategies like testing, face mask use, and also social distancing. When it comes to options for parents and students, most school districts do offer an online option, but oftentimes they come with specific deadlines of when you can sign up. As you know, masks are not required in Arizona schools, despite what the CDC recommends. So we spoke to a mom in Chandler Unified, and she tells us she wishes they'd be mandated. She says she feels okay about her older daughter, but more concerned about her five-year-old. About half of her class is um, masked, and her teacher is masked. My kindergartner, though, um, it's only her and one other student who are masked. And so I'm crossing my fingers that nothing happens. Chandler Unified does offer an online academy, but parents can only make that switch at the end of the semester. We have more information on what other districts have already posted, and that's available right now on ABC15.com. As a reminder, cities are updating their mask policies. Here's a look at where you will need to wear a face covering while in city owned property, and we will keep you updated as other cities and businesses make changes. Well, Arizona has had nearly half a million acres burned this year alone from wildfires, but Governor Ducey is not part of today's wildfire meetings between President Joe Biden and seven other governors. The virtual meeting will last about an hour and will include governors from Montana, Washington, California, Idaho, Oregon, Wyoming, and Minnesota. The group will discuss efforts to improve fire prevention, preparedness, and response. They will also discuss funding to increase pay for federal firefighters and extending hiring for temporary firefighters. Governor Ducey was not part of the June wildfire meeting either. Another reason to eat an apple a day, certain fruits and veggies may help you keep your mind sharp. New research found evidence that flavonoids can help reduce the risk of cognitive decline by as much as 20%. Strawberries, peppers, and apples are also strong sources of flavonoids. Researchers who did the study say that flavonoids have anti-inflammatory properties that can protect blood flow to the brain. They say reduced blood flow is a significant factor in cognitive decline, which can lead to dementia. Good Friday morning to you. I'm Allison Rodriguez with a check of that most accurate forecast. You're going to like this, at least most of you, some storm chances today. We are in that scattered category, so expecting about a 40% chance to get in on some activity this morning and throughout the evening as well for your Friday. Here's a look at future casts. We're going to show you those chances. They're going to start to increase as we go in through the evening. I think those are our better chances starting around 6, 7, 8 o'clock tonight. And then overnight, things are going to be a little bit quieter, but we'll keep that chance around and then we'll increase those chances again as we get into tomorrow evening. So here's a look at our daytime highs today. A quick look across the state showing our temperatures are going to be reaching comfortable levels in some spots, but still very hot in others. Your seven day forecast looks like this. Temperatures drop a little bit more tomorrow. We're down to 100 rain chances through Sunday, but we start to dry out and heat up. We're up to 107 by Tuesday.
For the latest headlines, weather, and traffic, just go to abc15.com or download our free ABC 15 mobile app. This ABC 15 Flash Briefing is sponsored by Sanderson Ford. Straight up.